Hello, this is the CRT men here, and today I'm showing you some pictures that I took in March 19th, 2014, even though this actually is um, October, whatever day it is, uh, October 19th, 2014. And uh, originally, I took these pictures with my old cell phone in January 23rd. I'm going to kind of make this video a little bit messy by mixing up the original video with the pictures that I took with my new phone. So as you see, this first picture is of a vintage, uh, probably late 1970s, uh, Panasonic Quintrix CRT television with wood grain and knobs. It's actually a really cool looking set in person. It has kind of more of a vertical appeal. In fact, I think Rob CRX has a slightly similar one. And yes, I turned the knobs. Originally, when I saw it in January, I was freaking out. And the only reason why I got to see all this stuff was because um, the, the electronics teacher let me into the stock room when I mentioned something about tubes. So yeah, there's some more pictures of that. And then here's a whole bunch of uh, oscilloscopes and a few other meters. He said that just about everything in there, uh, meter and oscilloscope wise, is broken and is kind of used for spare parts at the moment. Uh, here's a couple more oscilloscopes, uh, lots of resistors and uh, capacitor storage uh, cabinets, well, little tiny ones. Uh, here's two of those um, Fluke 8010A uh, 1979 uh, digital multimeters, which are really, really good meters and a couple other oscilloscopes and stuff. But you can see an oscilloscope open, looks like he was working on it, and uh, you can see a little bit of the CRT tube. Here's a whole bunch of tubes, mostly from uh, what, he, what he said, radios and televisions and stuff like that. Really cool stuff, and I think all those were working. A couple of those tubes came from oscilloscopes too, if you can see the front ends. I can see a Westinghouse box, so yeah, and I think he still has all that stuff there too. I haven't been in there since, you know, March 2013, uh, 14, at least in the stock room. Uh, here's a couple more of those um, 1979 fluke meters, a uh, couple other meters and stuff like that. I think a couple of those things are even by HP, and um, see a couple of capacitors and stuff like that. Actually, in the back, you'd see a ton of uh, those fluke meters. In this one, you could see a few more meters, uh, a couple opened up oscilloscopes, really small ones. Um, pretty cool stuff. I was, like I said, originally I was just freaking out. And then um, here's some more oscilloscopes. Most of these oscilloscopes are by um, Hitachi and uh, a couple other circuit boards and stuff like that. Um, here's this oscilloscope. There's two Hitachi um, oscilloscopes blocking this gigantic one, which I swear was a Textronix. Um, if I zoom in the picture, it says type 575 transistor curve tracer. I swear that's a Textronix, and he actually said that that uh, particular one was, I think he said it was a hybrid, like half tube, half transistor. Uh, here's a look at some more stuff. And uh, here's two RCA black and white CRT televisions from the early 1980s. I've seen the exact same ones on eBay, but I they never displayed the model number, so I don't really know the model number of this one. Nor do I know the model number of the, of the Panasonic Quintrix either. But these are really cool. I turned the knobs and stuff. I and I actually asked if I could have any of this stuff one day, but he said that it's a different teacher's stuff, and I'd have to ask him eventually. The only thing is, though, I'm not in the electronics classes anymore since I did the I, I did pretty much the first four or five, I think. I'm doing more generals now, and. A couple other um, meters, uh, a lot of those uh, amp meters up there. I can't really tell what the stuff on the bottom is. And then, in this picture, which was taken April 16th, 2014, um, is of this, of course, one of those Hitachi oscilloscopes, the V212. So, yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much all the stuff. And then, I'm going to throw in a couple of, uh, I'm going to throw in this one scene I did in the original January 23rd video. Or or whatever, whenever I filmed it, but yeah, and I guess eventually I uploaded I upload the original thing I did too, and just add it as a deleted scene. So yeah, enjoy the last part, and thanks for watching. This is the same college uh, that had the hard drives, the vintage 1980s hard drives on the floor, the um, the vintage 1980s floppy drives in that box, and uh, this is the place where the teacher gave me the 1982 um, Apple Macintosh laptop. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. On the, on, on the same day, he also gave me a crap load of resistors he said he didn't really need anymore. So, 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I could use these if I ever, uh, if any resistors go bad on any of my TV sets or computers. So, yeah, here's a big one right here. So, there you have it. So, thanks for watching.